everyone, it's Linda again, and welcome back to my channel. The YouTube API has a rather useful endpoint, which just so happens to be a public endpoint, which means that we can use an API key in order to read from it. The endpoint I'm talking about is the video's list endpoint. This endpoint allows us to list public videos on YouTube, and one of the most interesting things that I find that you can use it for is to list the most popular videos by country. In this video, we're going to go through how to create an API key for the YouTube API, and then we're going to go through the code needed in order to use the videos list method to list the most popular videos from several countries. In order to access public API endpoints, you need an API key. An API key simply identifies your application to Google so that they know who is accessing their API. To create an API key, you go to Google Cloud Console. Create a new project if you don't already have one. Then go to Credentials and click Create API Key. Simply copy the key. You'll need it in your code that we're going to do shortly. Remember, never share your API key with anyone. This identifies your application. And if anything happens, it is your account that is going to be banned and not somebody else's because they copied your key. Remember to go to Library and enable the YouTube Data API. And that's it. It should now work. Google has been kind enough to release client libraries that we can use in order to access their APIs from the languages that we're using. For this video, we're going to use Node.js. So we are going to be using the Node.js client library. We will need to install the Google APIS package. So I'm going to do an NPN install on Google APIS which will install the package into my project. The way the Node.js client library is built up is that all requests must go to an API through a service. And a service has to be configured for authorization in order to access the API it needs. In our case, we are only going to be using an API key for our authorization. So we're going to create a YouTube service, designate which version of the YouTube API. As far as I know, there's only one, but we still have to decide. We still have to state which version we're going to be using, which is version three. And then for auth, we pass it the API key that we got from Google Cloud Console. And that's it. Whenever any request is sent to the API through our service, our service will automatically include the API key in the call. So Google will know which application the call is coming from. Now we're going to create a function. Inside of my function, I am going to call service videos list. This is the videos list method, which we are going to be using. This method is built up. It requires several parameters. It requires a part parameter. Technically, you only need to pass one, but I wanted to show you how to pass three. So I'm passing snippet, content details, and statistics. But technically, in my code, I'm probably only going to need snippet. Then I'm going to pass chart. Chart is a required field as well. In my case, I'm going to pass most popular because I would like to see the most popular videos coming back. Then I'm going to pass a region code. Technically, region code is not a required field. Region code defaults to United States if you don't send one. But I wanted to show you the difference between sending a region code of US versus a region code of DE for Germany so that you can see the languages coming back. 
So that's it. That's how we set up a call through the YouTube service to call a method, in this case videos list, passing it any required parameters that it needs. Notice I didn't pass the API key because the service object is going to handle that for me. Now we need to handle the responses coming back from the API. Basically, two things could happen. We could get an error, and in this case, if I get an error, I'm just going to output a log to the console to let me know that there was an issue with the API. In the event that there was not an error returned and that we actually did get a good response back from the API, we'll do a check now to ensure that we actually got some videos back and that the total isn't zero or undefined. Then we can simply loop through each of the videos that were returned. Notice how I'm checking for video snippet title because that's where it is in the object. And here's another trick for you. The video ID returned in the object is actually the video ID from YouTube. So we can just build up the YouTube link like we normally would and pass it the video ID. And now we have a link to the video and the name of the video displayed. So that's it. That's all we needed to do in order to get the most popular videos back using an API key. Now, you can change the region, as I mentioned before, and you will be able to see the different videos for each region. You may be wondering how to get back a list of the most popular videos across the planet. Unfortunately, that method is not technically available. However, there's no reason that you could not make this call by country for every country on the planet. It would mean a lot of calls and it would probably eat up a lot of your quota. But if you consider the fact that the United States probably has a large number of YouTube viewers compared to the other countries on the planet, it's reasonable to assume that if you requested the most popular videos in the United States, you'd probably get a pretty good estimation of the most popular videos on the planet due to the amount of YouTube viewers in the United States. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you see how easy it is to find the most popular videos on YouTube using the YouTube API and an API key. If you enjoyed this video and you learned something, please consider giving it a like. It helps me to know which videos you enjoyed and which ones you'd like to see more of. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. It helps me to know that I'm doing a good job here and I'm actually helping people. And as always, I hope you have a really great day.